All right. Next, we are going to read data with LDS wire adapters. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our Visual Force code over here and explain what the code is for. So this is the HTML, uh, which will display the component, right? So this is standard. You define the template here and we are using the lightning card. The title is my account record. The icon is the standard account name. Let me actually bring up the lightning page. So if I go to, I've deployed that so I can show you how it looks like. So I'm going to go open the accounts and just choose this one, Grand Hotel. So this, my um, account record, right? So if I maybe do that, right and then i can do that and do that so we can explain more easier i can even okay that's fine so the lightning card this is the lightning card right this is the lightning card here and the title is my account record. So this is the title, my account record. Okay. And the icon name is standard account. So this is the icon. This is a standard icon, uh, standard account icon. And then we have a um, conditional template statement. If the account has a data, if the account has the data, which is picking up from the JavaScript, which we are going to discuss right away. Um, we have a div here and we'll put the account name, which is this one right there. So this is a very simple template, as you can see. Now, if I snap this out again, so. Now, if we discuss the JS or the JavaScript here, uh, very few lines. Uh, first line, basically, we are importing the Lightning element, API, and wire from LWC. And then we import the get record method from the Lightning um, UI record API. And then we uh, import the account name field from the schema, from the account name object, just the name field. And then um, we declare the class export the class so it can be used by the component default class is the name of the class uh, wire get record property extends lightning element so that's pretty standard and then we uh, use the api and the wire method there okay we uh, and we use declare the record id so that when the lightning um, component is called with an account record page on, on here, it will pass the record ID here, the record ID from the record. I'm just going to try to get the record ID and display that for you. This record ID, this one here, this one will be passed on to the JavaScript here so we can actually use it. Now, we use the wire method the get record method and we're passing the record ID into the get record method and the fields we want to pass the account name field which we are getting from here and then we pass all the data to the account um, data there all right account variable and then we uh, use uh, the get uh, method and declare a variable called name and return this uh, account data, the value of the name, right? So basically, it's just displaying the name of the account, all right? That's pretty much it. So that's pretty straightforward, right? So let's say I want to actually um, display other fields. 
uh, let's say I, I want to display the industry of the of the account just below it here right let's do that together so I've already created the lightning web component but if you want to create a new one just right click on here right and then create lightning web component and it'll create you these three files and you can just copy and paste the code from the trailhead here okay copy and paste this code there so let's bring on the industry all right so i am going to import another field i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to import um industry field account industry that industry and then i'm gonna say get industry define that as well over here return industry value that and save this then i want to display the industry uh, value onto the layout right so basically i'm just gonna make another one here and maybe like that like that right so this variable industry is going to be tied with this one and it's going to display that so once you make your changes on your files i'm going to deploy this to the um, org so i'm going to right click here and i'm going to so, uh, say deploy source to org and it's going to deploy that so once it's deployed okay change 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 it's deployed successfully so i'm going to flip back to my page here so how do you how do you put it here in the first place we've done that in the previous video right but i'm going to show you again what your setup there actually not set up because uh, this is a record page so i'm just going to hit the gear icon and then edit page okay so once you did that let me just close this guy oops cannot read uh... okay let me take a look here okay we missed something well i missed something not we you didn't miss anything yet but we haven't passed the fields right properly i want the industry field as well there please now we have to redeploy so i just saved this so we want to have the industry field as well so we get it from here we should pass it here so we can actually get it now i'm going to right click again and redeploy that deploy source to org there is going to redeploy so as it's doing that i might want to go out from this page here because it needs to refresh the whole thing now i'm just going to edit the page again yeah 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 so i'm going to edit the page again here edit page oh yeah Okay, it takes a while after you redeploy, it takes a few minutes before the, the old one is refreshed. So I'm going to wait a few seconds here. One minute. Okay, I think it's finally refreshed. So once you create the component, you can drag it from the custom component on here. See custom? We have LDS create record and wire get record property. So we were using the wire get record property which is this one and just drag it there okay and then you save the page and you might want to activate it first if you did it the first time but once you're done just go back here and i'm going to refresh my page there you go industry hospitality now it's adding it so that's how you can read data um, using the uh, wire um, get record property so i think i'm going to cut the video here and we're going to discuss the next one which is um
wire get record function. Well, this is basically the same. I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk about this one. So this is the same, but the one uh, instead of just putting the the data as you can see here, uh, we're putting the data to the account variable here. All right, the account object. Uh, we're actually making a function. It's called wired account so that we can actually process the data uh, further. Okay, that's the only difference. And you can pass the data and the error as the parameter. And then if uh, there is a data, um, you can do whatever you want here. If an error is returned, you can do whatever you want there. That's the only difference. Okay, so that's that. And on the next video, I'm going to uh, talk about modifying data with uh, the S function, which is creating a record here. I'll separate the video, so my videos are not going to be too lengthy from now on. I'm gonna cut them into smaller chunks, so it's not going to uh, take too much time for you guys to watch every video one at a time. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom